that's what you are about, that you are innovators, uh, that you are here because you are trying to change the world, and that exactly the spirit that we have. Uh, today also we think together if it's uh, really necessary to focus on the price war or maybe we can focus more on the creation of value. Hello, this is Solar PV TV once again from Solar Power International 2017. From uh, very busy Las Vegas, a lot of uh, networking parties, but also interesting job. And today is a historical moment because actually when we were in San Francisco on our solar PVTV, Solar Future Today booth. These two guys shake hand for the partnership, actually, which became true just a few days ago. So let me present uh, CEO and founder of uh, Renovasol and uh, managing director of PV Cycle. Two companies, organizations, which just announced partnership, which, uh, like we discussed today, will be so important for our industry because our industry is completely disrupting other industries which will become obsolete. So I would like to ask you guys, who is uh, more courageous and who would like to introduce your Renovasol PV Cycle partnership? Willing to take uh, the hands, yes. Um, well, so far for those uh, familiar already with PV Cycle and those not familiar with PV Cycle, so what we both do together is now taking care of the end of life phase of a, of a PV panel and on a complete PV uh, system. Uh, many people know us as the guys who are recycling the panels, collecting the panels and do the final treatments. Uh, with the partnership with uh, Renovasol, we have now also refurbishment in place. So we have now a complete process in place, uh, which is uh, much better than before. So we can really now refurbish reuse panels, recycle them for those which needs to be recycled and final treatments uh, in place. And that's the, the, the added value of our cooperation. And the second important point is that we both immediately go global with this program. And with Solar PBTV and Solar Future Today. Correct. So in a very simple words, yes, like you might remember, PV Cycle was making our industry double green. So now you start making industry triple green. Yeah, you could put it this way. Okay. Right. So, and um, I would like to ask you uh, now, uh, Josef, uh, we had a great time together. Thank you so much, guys, also for supporting our uh, Black Tie Visionary Gala that we brought so important people from all over the world, yes? And uh, it's another proof that uh, you are thinking global. And another proof also that, uh, Josef, we had a lot of discussions. This is a real disruptor of our industry. So, Josef, uh, how did you come up uh, you know, with this partnership? Uh, what were the rationales? And uh, was it difficult to make a partnership with Jan? Yeah, see, PV Cycle is somehow a dinosaur of the recycling industry, a good dinosaur uh, with a very good reputation. So I understand that it was not easy to decide for one new company, new kids on the block, because we're just four years old, they're 10 years old. And in the end, I think we got a deal because we uh, fit like yin and yang. In the end, what makes uh, recycling or refurbishment interesting is to give the panels a longer life and then to give them a final treatment which in the best case in the hopefully soon future gonna be without zero costs for operators and PV module producers. What again gains the profit for society and also for the industry. I would like to ask you, Jan, this question because you remember I was one of the fathers of this dinosaur mm -hmm. <laughs> when helping to set up um, PV cycle as a, let's say, anticipating action of the industry towards the upcoming legislation. So PV Cycle was membership based organization. So how do you see that? Because um, for me it's a bit difficult to understand. 
because you are creating a bit uh, competitor no? to your members. Can you explain that? Can you comment on that? And why the potential competitor agreed on creating the new competitor? Well, um, I, I would not put it like competitor. I mean, um, we are both uh, giving added value to each other. Um, Renovasol missed the recycling part. Um, Renovasol missed for the moment also, the, especially for Europe then, uh, the we compliance part. Um, we missed the refurbishment part in our process. Uh, we missed also the global part. We were ambitious, we were willing to go global, but he was already global. So uh, he's already present in several uh, regions around the globe. So at that point, uh, it's just, um, yeah, the, the strengths of the both organizations we are now mixing together. Complement so, complementary. Yeah, complementary uh, companies and complementary services. And um, yeah, I, I truly believe in, in our partnership uh, Ali, we also um, celebrated, let's say, with um, meeting the both teams of both organizations, and that was really, uh, really promising. And there you saw, okay, we are all like PV Cycle 10 years ago, we were immediately ready to go European. While, yeah, a lot of our uh, systems which are uh, doing the same are only operating on a national level, we went immediately European, and now 10 years later, it's the perfect momentum at our anniversary to go global. And uh, yeah, we are complementary to each other and our boat strengths will maybe come up with a lot of new uh, services we uh, we will put in place the next months the next years because we still have a lot of plans in our minds uh, ready but we will do it now step by step by first um, here uh, doing uh, solar power europe that every uh, solar power international that everybody uh, knows us and, and knows about our partnership so like uh, if you would make like an executive paper about your partnership so pv cycle was a uh, Dinosaur, yes, in the recycling uh, organization, uh, voluntary system uh, with a good reputation, membership based, especially very strong in Europe. Renovasol was a company which is uh, specialized in uh, refurbishment of uh, solar modules, yes, so this triple level, yes, the third level, I would say, and also with the uh, global footprint, yes? Yeah, okay. And uh, what is uh, your, you know, like a short-term and uh, long-term plan? For me, uh, I see the last spots which are not 100% covered uh, by us uh, yet in South America, Africa, and as well as establishing each other's services in all of our common branches to give the customer a global service with a very competitive price and uh, extremely good first-class services which you will not get at any other competitor. And Jan? Um, well, I think... Uh, I'm sorry uh, for interrupting, but also I understand uh, that in this case you will be helping uh, Renovasol to PV Cycle to organize the collection system, yes? Yeah, yeah that's correct. Uh, they have in place a complete uh, collection system uh, we have in place a collection system. We can only uh, there as well optimize optimize some things, maybe merge them. Uh, yeah, this is then the added value that you now can optimize costs and that our costs go down, his costs go down. So it's learning curve, yeah, because we have already access. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in both scenarios, uh, also Renovasol is there since four years, we since ten years. Um, so that's 14 years of experience. So it's not anymore a baby who uh, who is uh, coming together. Uh, we are really two uh, adults. Uh, in this industry already, um, so at that point I, I only see uh, see added value, and yeah, what what already uh, Joseph explained. This is the short-term things that we cover the global, uh, South America as an as a challenging one, but there we we made now very interesting contacts. Uh, Africa. And you met Antonio. We met Antonio, yes, um, Antonio. from yeah, Brazil. Um, and also Africa, there we have some uh, interesting um, things still ahead. Uh, uh, so also in the south of Africa, with, with South Africa more specifically. So I, I look forward to, to the next months really, and also that we first now make it happen. Um, and then uh, the plans we have in our minds are, are we still have a lot of things we, we foresee for uh, the midterm. And we probably come the next months uh, with, with more new, new things and announcements. Okay, so uh, last question. Let's think about you know, more visionary. Yes? Imagine we are in 2025. 
can you tell us more about uh, your partnership 2025? So imagine that you, we are in 2025 and present uh, your partnership. The largest corporation for recycling and restoration in the world. The most competitive one. And uh, also the most green one. And I would say also, um, yeah, the most um, reliable one in that sense that uh, you, our services are, are quality services and that's also what uh, uh, Renovasol is offering. So um, uh, to, to add only that point, in 20, uh, 2007, so 10 years ago, I was not, I was thinking about reuse and refurbishment, but um, I said I first need to find a partner which I can truly believe. So it took 10 years, but I'm now very glad that I yeah, took my time to do it. Uh, so in 2025, I think uh, what we now have in place, we will be uh, the largest and we will be ready to, um, at the current stage, what is it, 200 gigawatt installed in the world. Well, by 2025, we surely can treat all that waste already. Okay, so let's finish uh, with this one. So at the beginning, I said that in San Francisco, there was a historical moment because you shake hand at our booth and it became true. So now I would like to ask you to shake hand for, you know, this target 2025. <laughs> okay. Good. Together with you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, maybe we also <laughs> give you uh, a <laughs> we, we okay. uh, handshake. Okay. So thank you so much. That was Solar PV TV from Solar Power International 2017, where uh, we launched the new partnership and also shake hand for this partnership making solar triple green. Thanks for watching.